Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Google Apps Script Tutorial for Beginners and in this video we are going to discuss about some of the basic methods to get the data from spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet refer to the entire sheet and the sheet refer to the particular sheet in this spreadsheet app. So I have two tabs here, sheet 1 and sheet 2 and I have opened the Google Apps Script Editor. Go to Tools and Script Editor which will launch this Google Apps Script Editor and uh, this is my default function called the sheet app so first we will see how to get active sheet get active sheet so to get active sheet let me create a variable and uh, the variable name is sh1 i will use the spreadsheet app so spreadsheet app is an interface which implements all the methods that you are going to use to do any operation on google spreadsheet app so this is a base level interface and it implement a lot of method that you can see here and if you want a detailed documentation then you can refer the google app script documentation so first we will see how to get active sheet so you have to use a method get active sheet so this get active sheet return whichever sheet is currently active on this spreadsheet app so right now the sheet one is active so it is going to return the sheet one as an output here I will use logger.log sh1 and I will run this program right now to see the active sheet here. Active sheet. So active sheet is actually returned the sheet and I want to get the name. So I have to use a get sheet name and if I click on the run, it is going to return the sheet name, sheet1 and if I switch to sheet2, and if I execute the same function again, it is going to return the sheet 2. So this is what about active sheet. And if you want to get the active spreadsheet, then you have to remove that and you have to use active spreadsheet. So this return the object of the spreadsheet app, which is currently active. So this is the spreadsheet which is currently active and it is going to return that value to this sheet one variable. So as I mentioned earlier, active spreadsheet app referred to this entire spreadsheet and get active sheet just refer only to the active sheet. So get active spreadsheet also implement the method get sheet name which return the name of the sheet which is currently active on this entire spreadsheet app. So I'm going to run this one. So right now the sheet two is active as you see here. So it returned the sheet two. So when you're writing the program, the most recommended method that you should use is get active spreadsheet rather than get active sheet. So the next one we are going to see is how to target the sheet to perform operation. So if you want to do something, let's say you want to get the value on the sheet one or to set some value uh, to the particular range in the sheet one, then you have to first locate the sheet one. So to target the sheet one, let me create the same variable as such one. And here you have to use the same spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet because as I mentioned earlier, you have to use get active spreadsheet, which is most recommended than active get active sheet. You can see a method get sheet by name. So after get active spreadsheet, you have to get the sheet by its name or by its index. So let's see how to use the get sheet by name. And I will go with get sheet by name and it accept one argument and here you need to pass the name of the spreadsheet that you want to target. So here I want to target the sheet one. So I'm going to give sheet one here. So this SH1 target the sheet one and whatever the operation that you're going to perform on SH1 will happen on this sheet one. So this is one way of targeting sheet. Also, you can target the sheet by get sheets method. For example, get sh sh1 is equal to 
spreadsheet you can use the same here and get sheets this get sheet return all the sheet in the spreadsheet and if you want to target this sheet one then you can make use of the index because this get sheet return an array so if you use a zero it is going to target the very first sheet and the very first sheet here is sheet one so this is another way of targeting the sheet so the best way is to go with name and instead of sheet one you can give some unique name here so that you can use the same to target it so next one how to get the number of spreadsheet so to get the number of spreadsheet you have to use the same spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and use get num sheets so this return the number of spreadsheet in your spreadsheet app so if i execute this one it is going to return two because the number of sheet present on the spreadsheet app is two now let's see how to get a single cell value for example if i want to get the employee number string then let's see how to do that get a single cell value i'm using the same uh, variable sh1 use the same spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and you have to get the range so there is a method called get range and this get range accept x comma y so x represent the row number and y represent the column number so the row is one and the column is two so you just need to pass one comma two here so this return the object of this b1 cell and to get the value you have to use a one more method called get value so here if you see there are two methods one is a get value and another one is a get values we'll come back to the get values shortly first we will have a look at the get value so now i will print the sh1 here and let's see it's showing the employee number so i made a minor mistake here the reason here is i want to target the sheet before getting the range that is what i'm missing here so this get sheet by name should go here and if you run this we are good employee number so first spreadsheet app is an interface and get active spreadsheet target the active spreadsheet and we are locating the sheet that we are targeting using the get sheet by name and we are getting the range so this return the object and get value actually return the value that gets stored in the cell so this is a way to get a single value and now how to get a range of value in the sheet get a range of values so let me use the same variable name here again you have to use the spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet then target the spreadsheet get sheet by name pass the sheet name here sheet one and here you're going to get range so you have to use the same method get range but this get range accept two or four argument so when you pass only two argument it get the value in a single cell and when you pass four argument it try to get the value in the range so i want to get values from a1 to b3 so to get value from a1 to b3 i have to use 1 comma 1 because 1 comma 1 represent the a1 one represent the row and again uh, the next one represent the column so it is locating the name here and this is 3 comma 2 because it present on the third row second column so i have to pass 3 comma 2 here and here you should not use get value because here we are returning an array and get value return a single cell value so here you have to use get values so this get values return a 2d array let me execute that one so here you see it print three array the first one is for header 
and the second one uh, contain the data for the second row Bob and two three two point oh and the third row is John three four three so this is how you can get the value from a spreadsheet app In the next video we will see how to set the values to any of the spreadsheet so that's it if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye